on a fine clear evening at Villa Park the team news shows that Liverpool are without three regulars Alan Kennedy, Jimmy Case and Terry McDermott all injured so it's Colin Irwin at number three David Fairclough at number eight and Sammy Lee at number ten with Abby Cohen the substitute Arsenal field the team which finished the match on Saturday that's with Steve Walford at number three in place of Sammy Nelson and their substitute tonight is Steve Gatting and there are more Liverpool fans here than Arsenal because Arsenal returned several thousand tickets. <laughs> Referee Keith Hackett of Sheffield starts the semi-final replay. Arsenal wearing yellow shirts and blue shorts tonight, the colours they wore in the FA Cup final last May. Arsenal the side bidding to reach their third consecutive Wembley final in the FA Cup. Skill by Kenny Dalglish finds Irwin. There's Ray Kennedy trying to shake off Price, and he finds Sooners. Here's Phil Neal, and now it's Lee. Good move. It's Willie Young taking it away from Colin Irwin. Young throws it as push as he headed the ball out, but a corner it is. Thompson on his way forward. Jennings with the punch, only as far as Ray Kennedy. Now Sooners. Irwin. Now it's Irwin who's making the extra man. All waiting in the centre for Liverpool. This is Ray Kennedy again. Irwin. Good build-up. It's patient. Kennedy. Young set around. <laughs> Liverpool gaining some ground. Dalglish with the throw to Irwin. Dalglish. Fairclough and Young. Referee waits play on. Ray Kennedy up. Then Torbert away. Brady. Oh, robbery there by Brady on Irwin. And offside against Alan Sunderland. Sammy Lee, Neil, Fairclough. Oh, did marvellously well there, Dalgleish. And Young is there again. Sunderland. Still Liverpool in possession though, Irwin. Ray Kennedy. And Price looks for Stapleton, the Arsenal outlet. Tidy play by Hansen. And a foul by Sunderland on Thompson, it seemed. Just caught him late there. So, ten minutes left in the first half, no score. Here's Phil Neal. Johnson and O'Leary skies one behind. support from Liverpool they've got over 20,000 people here start once again to get behind the side chasing the league and cup double
Sunis. Dalglish. Hansen up there. Great Kennedy! What a fine try. Ray Kennedy hooks up Brian Talbot, who couldn't prevent him getting in the shot. O'Leary that's Neil fair club good header back Doug Leach Kennedy to his left Lee's made the run on the right Ricks came back with him and Lee got in and Jennings got a hand to it a miraculous piece of goalkeeping it would seem Sammy Lee on the blind side of the defender did so well Doug Leach found him with a pinpoint ball here just watch as Fairclough knocks the ball back to Dalgleish. Watch how he sees great vision here. What Sammy Lee is up to. Lee is closing in with Ricks defending against him. Ricks got the first touch, wasn't sure. Lee got in and Jennings got a hand to it and then caught it. Brady. Oh, mistake by Hansen. Handball given against Sunderland. A minute left in the first half and Liverpool have had the better of it but there are no goals there's Johnson Sunis Irwin Young and Dalglish Johnson is bugging because Dalglish is leaning into Willie Young and the ball is lost somewhere among the photographers behind the goal so much as Ricks on this side who went ahead too quickly and in injury time at the end of the first half here's Lee for Liverpool in comes Fairclough and the referee blows and the two teams as they were in Hillsborough on Saturday level at nil-nil Liverpool had slightly the better of the first half in terms of possession but you really would find it very hard to separate these two experienced sides. So Liverpool have still to concede a goal in the FA Cup this season, playing now from right to left in the second half of this replay. That's Phil Neal looking for Fairclough. A goal kick. Fairclough's pace, always a problem for defences, but he's been closely watched by Arsenal so far. That's been the story all over the pitch as far as forwards are concerned. The defender's very much in charge. Sunis, now Dalglish. Working the ball well for Johnson. And now Neil. Dalglish continuing his run forward. Johnson here now. Price and Ray Kennedy. Quickly taken to Irwin. Fairclough foul though by uh, Irwin and Sunderland. So five minutes gone in the second half. Arsenal nil, Liverpool nil, that familiar score. Stapleton looking for Sunderland, that was Irwin. Now Pat Rice, Brian Talbot, Walford, Stapleton coming off his man nicely, looking for Brady, Thompson, He's reading it perfect.
scored. And Bergner, the lad who came in for Jimmy Case, is the scorer. A mistake by Arsenal's defence. As the ball was headed on, O'Leary let it go. Willie Young was slow. Johnson was quick. Jennings saved with his legs. And number eight, Bergner, steers the ball in the net. 51 minutes gone. And Liverpool score their 100th goal of the season in League and Cup. And what a vital goal it may prove to be. Foul on Brady who kept the ball. Rice. Stapleton. And soon this wants chance to come. Now, can Arsenal throw themselves back at Liverpool and meet the supreme challenge? Johnson and a good thing for Arsenal that he did well the Liverpool fans now bringing the Mersey sound into the night sky at Villa Park Brady O'Leary Phil Neal with the header and here's Sammy Lee looking for Fairclough again he's got the pace but so is Jennings. The feelings of these supporters reflected as well in the expression of the injured players. McDermott and Kay sitting very near me. Here's Del Gleach looking for Johnson. And O'Leary turned it back. Oh, and Jennings with one hand prevents an own goal. Goodness me. David O'Leary going through a very difficult five minutes. But Jennings kept Arsenal in the match then. Stapleton made room nicely. Brady! in the middle and O'Leary steps across Johnson and a goal kick is given well people talked about Liverpool's reserves and whether or not their team would be weakened one of the men who's been brought in or the man to be brought in since Saturday when he came on as a substitute scores the goal the first goal Ricks Walford Thompson, Lee, and Johnson won't go for that, it's too strong. Fairclough, the man who's brought the place alive. This is Walford. forward 
and Arsenal have got to take the odd chance now. They've got to throw people further ahead in the attack, and that might in turn give Liverpool a better chance on the break. It means the match is delicately poised, and here's O'Leary. Offside, the flag's up. Stapleton, no goal. Offside, won't count. Flag was up very early on. Arsenal protest, but the linesman there had his flag up before that ball was even released. Stapleton put the ball in the net, but the linesman saw an Arsenal player in an offside position, and as David O'Leary plays the ball through, the last man is level, it's Price actually, number 10 was the offender, not the scorer Stapleton. Price was offside. Dalgleish, Young. Stapleton number nine, four Arsenal players in the centre. Colin Irwin beaten for pace, but not Ray Kennedy. Corner given. And Arsenal are throwing everybody forward. O'Leary, Young and Walford have gone up. Willie Young arriving from the back. Shot by Talbot. Brian Talbot dreaming before this match of a third consecutive FA Cup final appearance. Two of them, of course, with different clubs, Ipswich and then Arsenal, a winner both times. But will he be a loser tonight because his side are a goal down? Talbot, brave to the last, throws himself in here and beats the Liverpool defence. Souness. And Walford. Gets the ball away. Johnson. Johnson's got Souness just inside him. Souness finds Fairclough. Fairclough to Souness, the shot hit Young, it's Dalgleish, what a turn. Kennedy, what a good block by David Price, I think. Yes, it was. Now Ricks, Sunderland, Stapleton, Torvik's made a run through the centre. And he might make it. Well, he caught Clements, and Liverpool are angry. Yellow card's been shown to Brian Torvik for the challenge on the goalkeeper. Brady is protesting about it. 
the referee got the card out there. Ray Clements and Phil Thompson and Alan Sunderland demonstrating the first unpleasant moment of this replay. And it was caused because the goalkeeper suffered a blow as Torbett went in for what was initially a loose ball. Make up your own mind here. As Clements comes, Torbett goes in and he catches the goalkeeper as he falls. There's Ray Kennedy. the 90 minutes this is Irwin Ray Kennedy Johnson's in there and Jennings made it look so simple those enormous hands of the Arsenal goalkeeper have been as sure tonight as they have throughout his long career decision but it's been given against him this could be the last chance to settle it before extra time Brady takes off and the goal that Alan Sunderland scored the first that Liverpool have conceded in the FA Cup this season this goal equalizing that scored earlier by David Fairclough for Liverpool means we have extra time So here we go again. The teams starting the first period of extra time. And it's Arsenal now who play from the right. With the score 1-1. Brady. Ricks. Thompson. Neal. Rolls out. to Wolf. Whose nerve is going to hold best and longest? Stapleton, Lee, Dalglish, Irwin. That's meant for Fairclough. Sunderland getting back well. The linesman is flagging. Presumably the ball was already out. Irwin. Came off Graham Ricks. Up goes Sunderland with Hansen. Here's Price. Stapleton. And it's Phil Thompson again. Searching out David Johnson with the long ball. And Johnson might get onto this. O'Leary's on the ground. Fairclough is inside. Can Fairclough do it? Oh, it must have missed by no more than a foot. Johnson saw his chance with O'Leary on the deck to turn the ball into Fairclough. And how close Liverpool came there. Johnson played the ball at the right time Fairclough had to take it as Jennings started to advance and look at that No 
nobody willing to take any chances in this last four minutes of extra time. Thompson. well and he may get caught out still that was Brady finding Ricks in the middle is Stapleton away by Thompson but the attack isn't over yet here's Brady beautifully killed by him Young oh Young's found Sunderland Sunderland finds Rice Oh, the state by soon is almost put Talbot in it might. It came to Price. Stapleton appeals for handball. Referees just play on. <laughs> on by Fairclough. left now with extra time it's a free kick to Liverpool and can Colin Irwin develop something from here he's got Ray Kennedy inside and Dalgleish oh and Dalgleish has given it away to Talbot here's Price Price looking for Stapleton two defenders against him Lee, back to Neil. Hansen. Liverpool come forward once more. Sunes finds Neil. Lee, that's Ricks who's there. Fairclough is with him. Liverpool ball. Dalglish. Lee Young. Price. We're in the last minute now of extra time. That's O'Leary lofting one up for Arsenal. Neil. We've got to have either a truly dramatic finish or else a third match. That was Rice. Irwin. Oh, he, no, the ball is out. Lightman's flag is raised. In this semi-final, the irresistible force seems to have met the immovable object. They've drawn again after extra time. The goal's coming in the first 90 minutes. Liverpool taking the lead through David Fairclough. And Arsenal equalising 11 minutes later through Alan Sunderland. The third match is scheduled for a week next Monday, which is less than a fortnight before the final. The venue of the third match to be decided when the teams get back into the dressing rooms. Well, it looks as though we've got a marathon on our hands there. Jimmy Hill will be with us later to uh, talk about that game. Meanwhile, uh, Arsenal, of course, have to go to Anfield on Saturday to play in the league. And then next week, they have to fly out to Italy uh, for the second leg of their European Cup Winners' Cup semi.